Yells, thank you so much. I know you guys are having a great time. We are, absolutely. This might be the best event in Yells history, by the way. How many of you guys are thinking you're having a great time? So, what I want to do here is do a revisit of some of the principles that we were talking about earlier and really bring uh, kind of closure to a lot of the things that we, we opened up with. So, let's see here. We'll go back. So, let's review really quickly what we talked about in our previous session. So, as you guys saw, I emphasized that 20% of getting better as an influencer is the mechanics, the nuts and bolts, you know, all of the, the little tips and tricks that you need to know. But 80% of becoming better is going to be having a full identity with why am I persuading? Who am I trying to reach? Why is it so critical that I absolutely reach them? And what happens if I don't? I'm trying to get through these. <laughs> we have a master slave trying to get through Kevin's so Many, many jokes here. Um, and so we talked about how if you're really going to get better, you know, you can learn all the, the tips and tricks in the book, but that's not going to actually accomplish anything unless you're fully aligned with who I'm trying to reach, what happens if I reach them, what happens if I don't. Right? Trying to get those people off of the tracks. So what I want to do now is drill down a little bit into some of the principles that will show you guys how to tap into this immense power. So we left off right here with four tools of influence. I want to talk about these four overarching tools and then drill down into specific tactics so you guys can really walk away with here uh, with some stuff in your toolkit that you can bring out in your interactions of influence and you can put this into practice. Now the first thing I'll tell you guys is that if you want to truly get better at this, there's no other way but to do it. Okay. I, by the way, I, I thank you all so much. The, the people I talked to in between the sessions and people are saying, oh, this is great, you know, it reminds me of a thing I do and you know, here's this principle, that's great, I love those conversations. If you want to really ingrain this in your nervous system, you're going to not just be able to listen to it, but you've got to apply it. You've got to wrestle with it a little bit. Okay? You've got to try it, go to bat, you know, strike out a couple times, but you're going to hit a home run and then you'll go, oh man, that's that thing. I, I know that's where I connected. I, I, was, I was absolutely aligned with what their needs were, what would influence them, and I, I was out of my head, I was really in my heart with them in that moment. And I, I was fully aligned with why I was there, I knew what would happen if, if I didn't reach them, and because it was an absolute emotional must, I got through. I got through. And you guys have experienced this in the past too, but I hope you're realizing, I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to give clarity, I'm trying to explain what you already do that works so you can do more of it, and what you do that doesn't work so you can recognize it, you can go, oh man, you know, I'm three paragraphs in on this Facebook comment, now I remember, I'm not supposed to do this, backspace, backspace, right? And you'll be able to really change who you are as an influencer. So what I want to do now is drill down into some of these tactics. If you guys remember, we talked about that action threshold, right? In a minute, somebody's 